I'm tired as f What's up you guys, Golden Claw here. And today I'm bringing you a tutorial on the best render settings for Shadow Play. We are going to be using Adobe Premiere. Simply for the fact because it is the perfect program to tackle H.264 uh, codec, which is the codec of Shadow Play. Sony Vegas just doesn't handle it too well as of render settings and uploading it to certain websites like YouTube, for example. Like YouTube puts uh, an H.264 codec on it too, so that even decreases it more and more. So we're just going to be using Premiere for uh, the best experience. If you're not familiar with Premiere, you can buy it or uh, get it other ways. Whatever you prefer. I'm not going into full detail of how to, you know, the basics of Adobe Premiere. I'm just going to show you the render settings and some things of importing your clip and eventually rendering it. So, um, I'm not going to be going into any editing real stuff or whatnot. So, uh, when you first open up Adobe Premiere, you're uh, going to go ahead and make a new project. Because you want to have a project to work in. Make sure your capture format is HDV. Uh, location doesn't really matter because it's only a one-time project. I assume you can give it a name if you want, I'm not going to do that. Click OK, you're going to have a sequence with uh, settings. So I have these settings, you can copy them down from here and figure something out, but I'm just going to go into settings here, the second tab, and this is where you'll uh, change everything. You want to make sure it's on custom, make your own template. You want to have it at 60 frames per second, 1920 by 1080, of course, because that is uh, the resolution uh, you're probably going to render at unless you're with the new features of Shadowplay, you're uh, you're able to actually record 720p if you're playing in 720p. But I'm going to be using some Battlefield 4 for this, and I was playing in 1080p, so why not? Pixel aspect ratio one, because that's normal. Uh, no field progressive scan, 60fps timecode, uh, render or project. This is just for your preview when you're going to see the video. Uh, give it a name if you come on. If you want to save the preset, you can do that here. You can give it a name in the description. But I'm just going to grab my footage real quick. I'm just going to drag it in here. You just drag it in the timeline. I hope you're familiar with some kind of editing software and you kind of know what you're doing if you're trying to render something out. It's really not that hard, so just... Uh, now it's gonna ask if you want to change the sequence settings to match the clip, and uh, yes we do. Because the audio can go a bit off sync. If you're gonna edit... Uh, if you really wanna edit shadow play footage a lot, I do not recommend it, because the frame rate is actually variable, which means that the images you're seeing in the video is... Uh, it just doesn't match with the audio, basically, and it's gonna give you a hard time, so just uh, change the sequence settings for optimal uh, audio sync if you want to keep the audio somewhat uh, in sync. Now I, I have two screens, you're probably going to see one screen. For rendering, you're going to go to file, you want to go to export and want to go to media. Uh, this is where the actual render settings come in. First of all, you want to change to H.264 because uh, obviously uh, Shadowplay shoots in H.264 and this is what we're going to work with. I already have a preset once again. Um, output name, you can save it anywhere. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Export video, export audio, filters, nothing really here. Obviously you want to have it 1920 by 1080 again, unless you want to scale it down you can go with 720p which is 1280 by 720 whatever your preference is. Uh, frame rate 59.94, basically the same as 60, just a little less. I don't think it actually matters in file size. The good thing about Adobe Premiere is that you can see the estimated file size so you can tweak settings to making it smaller because that is Essentially what you're trying to do here. Aspect ratio once again the same as uh, our product settings 4.0. TV standard NTSC profile high level 5.1. Render at maximum depth is really important because it makes it look a lot better. VBR 1 pass. Why not 2 pass because I don't really notice any quality difference. It looks just as great as VBR 2 pass takes way longer to anchor. Uh, bitrate, now this is obviously the quality factor. The, the higher you put the frame rate the bigger the file is going to be and the better quality. Now, in my opinion, it doesn't really get a lot better if you go above 10 uh, target bitrate and with a max at 12. If you have some fast uh, upload speed, I would say the ultimate max is 50, never go any higher. I think Shadowplay actually records in a bitrate of about 50, so don't go above that. Audio settings, AAC, AAC, uh, same as before, 48,000. General stereo, high, 320. Advanced settings, uh, bitrate, whatever. Multiplexer. Not really a lot, just to make sure it's MP4 and not something else. FTP, I don't even know what the f*** this is. Once you're done, hit that. And uh, yes, I'm gonna hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna pass the f*** out now, so I'll see you guys next time. This has been Golden Claw. Bye.